Okay. Hope I'm close. Lord Gatwick, welcome to Gatwick. Oh, Gatwick, I'm hopeful. Might find it. Electric cars and electric car charging. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? I think it's fairly safe to say that the electric car came first and the charging network struggled to keep up, especially back in the olden days. You know, it could be occasionally very frustrating. You had to have the right app on your phone, you had to have the right card, you had to have the membership thing. Often the chargers would be in the corner of a dark car park in a big puddle. It, was a, it could be a nightmare. That is changing, it's changed a huge amount in the last five years, and this is a brilliant example of what we should be demanding and expecting in the future. This is GridServe's latest electric forecourt at Gatwick Airport, and it's pretty cool. So what we've got here is 30 charges in total, many of them like these, 350 kilowatt capable so there's not many cars that can take that charge yet but they are definitely coming so this is very much future proofed over in the far corner there you've got some ac chargers 22 kilowatts things like renault zoe's use those load more 350 kilowatt chargers there then the other side are chargers that are uh, compatible with chatamo they've got two leads ccs and chatamo so you can charge any car there's four tesla chargers there uh, that, that uh, and then what is really interesting is here, normally, there's bump stops to stop the car reversing too far. You know, you push your wheel up to it, but not here. They're not here. Why is that? Because they sound like quite a good idea, but every time I've charged a car with a bump stop, I've tripped over it like an idiot. So that's a really good thing. All There's no curbs. So the, the uh, accessibility is really, really good. Look at this. This is a charging area. For, for people with disabilities. So if you're in a wheelchair and you get out of your car and you can wheel it around, you've got room to move around the car and plug it in. And if you can't plug it in yourself, there's staff here that will help you. Like fully charged? Then you'll love our fun-packed Everything Electric Expos around the world. Next up, we're in London and Harrogate. Remember, energy and transport professionals go free on the first day. A few years ago, people were worried about, you know, the charging experience itself. You know, was it reliable? Is it easy enough to charge? I think it's pretty clear we've we fixed that. It's yeah. now very reliable. It's easy to charge. And so what this uh, site does is it really takes the consumer experience, the customer experience, right the way to the next level. Right. Um, you know, so it's not just you know charging your vehicle and having good facilities, but it's uh, you know connectivity with those facilities um, and just making that charging experience as fulfilling exciting and uh, you know as it possibly can be yes you're looking forward to going to charge somewhere rather yeah. than going because yeah. that was i mean that was my experience today i mean i drove over 120 miles to get here and in a you know the world that i live in you t i'd have to be thinking oh i must remember i've got to charge somewhere to get back home tonight maybe you know i want to top up it didn't occur to me because i knew i was coming here yeah and i drove in and there was probably 10 vehicles charging and i just went in an empty bay and plugged in and that was it yeah it was that's so easy So you can get a coffee there, lots of snacks. Here, BMW i5, well that is here to show that you can book a test drive. This is where you book your test drive. And you can go out for a little spin if you've never been in an electric car before, but come and have a look at this over here. <laughs> so this place is amazing, like everything here. It's the latest technology. This is the little fresh good to go store with just walk out technology powered by Amazon. What does that mean, you ask me? Well. It's very simple. You walk up to the entrance, tap your card on the little uh, tap to pay thing there. You walk in, you see a sandwich. Mm, that would be lovely, piece of fruit. I'll have some of that. There's a cake, oh, I want a cake. Then you walk out and you go, oh, I don't want the cake. I'm trying to be healthy, I'm not gonna eat the cake. You put the cake back on any shelf, it doesn't matter. And then what happens? You literally walk out, you do nothing else. And later on, as I got, when I went and, went and bought something this morning, you get a little receipt emailed to you. It's so easy to use. It feels like you're stealing things, but you're not. And it's just really, it's just the latest stuff. It's very clever.
having it at a, a major international airport is kind of it kind of makes it feel special because it's a very different use to one that was just say by the side of a big motorway. Yeah, I mean this is a uh, this is a UK first. In fact, I think this is a world first. Yeah. So an electric forecourt at an international airport. Uh, Gatwick is obviously one of the busiest airports in the world. Um, you know, I remember actually being at Gatwick not so long ago when I turned up and I couldn't charge and I went right. away on a holiday. The car wasn't had enough energy. Right. It was a real panic on the way back. No more. Yeah. Um, and so what this does is it provides real confidence for anybody uh, visiting the airport, uh, whether it's you know taxis or you know. Uh, you know Right, hailing delivery vans when we got up, here. Delivery vans, those, yeah. people at the airport, yeah. people who live in the vicinity, um, you know, people who who take their vehicle here, leave it in a car park for a period of time, and then you know want, want to have the complete confidence that when they come back from their holidays, they can come and top they up. can come in, yeah. they can get a fantastic coffee, something to yes. eat, yeah. you know, from this incredible uh, convenience that we have yeah. here, and, uh, and and it will be fine. Because I think what it, it finally comes to is that you you would go to a charger somewhere and it works and that's fine or you go to one on the motorway and it's fine but then you go well, actually when i come here the charging what was what's happening is the charging is becoming kind of irrelevant like a petrol station you don't go oh can i get that nozzle in my tank and fill it up it's just that's taken as a given what else is there and that's what you've done here is you've gone yeah the charging stands this just plug in and charge forget it come up here and it's amazing and you can have a nice coffee and you've got nice really good toilets yeah. i have to say I, I really appreciated them. And you've got shops and you've got food and it's warm and he's got Wi-Fi. Yeah, I yeah. mean, good Wi-Fi, <laughs> good Wi-Fi. So all the critical things. But I mean, that is, it's interesting that that's kind of where you're pushing that the, I'm not saying we've solved the charging thing because yeah. we need more of them and we need all that, you know, but the, 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 the difficulty that you and I would have experienced early on, yeah. plugging a car in and going, is the thing, I can't get the app, I haven't got a signal, the bloody thing. that yeah. was a pain. Yeah. And you've, you've kind of removed that. And yeah. So what you do now is you drive in, you plug in and go, well, what else? Please support our Stop Burning Stuff Patreon and help us to tackle misinformation about electric vehicles and clean energy. Oh, that's so horrible out there. But it's really lovely in here. And what an amazing place. This is such a good idea. We just need loads more of these all over the world to make charging a car a total non-event. It's, it's only been open a few days. It's already really popular. We've seen so many people coming through. Anyway, that's all. Uh, please do subscribe. We cover so many different topics on this channel. It's really exciting and growing fast. And we, you know, we come to brilliant places like this, even on lousy days like today. Anyway, that's all. If you have been, thank you for watching. <laughs>